Hello and welcome to Be Open at Charlotte. We've got ourselves a uh, an old school racing forum set up here. I believe it's the same one that Gavin uh, chose in his race. I think Nick had a different one though. There's two different uh, OSR setups for this particular season and uh, track. So you have a bit of a choice. <laughs> I think uh, people just submit their setups there. I think that's how it works. And so sometimes you got multiple people with their setups. And uh, I went with the one that Gavin went with. I don't really know if uh, one was better than the other or what. But uh, this one seems to be just fine. Um, it looks like the fast line here in this corner is low. But I can't get it to not spin when I go low, so I go a little bit higher. That's what I'm going to do here. At least on the first lap, I'm going to take it a little easier and do that. There's some really annoying bumps that'll come and get you in turns three and four. One more lap. I'm having trouble with. I don't have the best uh, short run speed, it looks like. But... Hoping, yeah, I messed that corner up already. I just entered too low. Yeah, so when I try to run low, it doesn't work as well. So I've been finding more success running on the more middle line. Maybe we can really push this corner or something. Make it up. Uh, no, it's not turning. Oh. So that's about the best I could do. It's right around. Less than a tenth off of my best. So. I'm okay with that. Um, I'm just not feeling completely comfortable. Charlotte's never been my best track. Usually I really like the uh, mile and a half, but Charlotte's always been kind of tough on me. So I'm not expecting too much. Just going for long runs. And uh, it's a fun racing. Got some decent, uh, got some decent strength of field here, it looks like. Number six. And uh, my eye ratings are right about, I think it's like 42, 42 right now. So, um, got some fast people in here. And uh, so I'm not going to expect too much. Especially the track that, uh, like I said, I'm not too great at. Practice, green flag pit stop. I'll just remember during the race that the uh, tire is going to be more worn by the time I'm actually coming in. So, watch your speed limit in the pits. <sighs> there we go. That should be fine. I just will have to slow down a little more because of the worn tires I'm gonna have. Take a look at that. As a matter of fact, 98, 98, and that's while going hard. So, uh, tire wear should be okay. I think. Falling down the order here, but we're about middling in terms of speed. It looks like. I'm okay with that. Just gonna try to stay out of any trouble. It's of course a pretty big field, 26. 26 racers, so there might be a couple cautions as people run into each other. <laughs> it's uh, hopefully not. Maybe we'll have some good times. Uh, I kept getting messages about my car getting hot. I know the crew chief is a little bit sensitive with that. There it goes, saying it's back to normal now. Um, so I'm going. I'm going to trust the setup builder here, to an extent. It was 70 by default. I moved it to 68, and it was still saying something. I moved it to 65, and I believe it just said something during qualifying. But I think I'm going to keep it right there at 65. Um, I remember last race, NB Open, at uh, Indianapolis. I believe it was. Gavin, again, was running the same setup as me, and he did not change the tape, and while it was bothering about bothering him about the temps, it never blew or anything, so... Should be fine. I just prefer to be more cautious. Because, uh, well, I don't want the car to blow up. That seems like a, a pretty good, uh, a good plan. Don't let the car blow up. So, <laughs> a little bit of speed I'll get from uh, a few percentage more on the tape. I don't think it's worth the risk. You got guys that are just so much faster. I just I, I can't get those couple attempts to get up to these guys that are, you know, even finding sub 30. That's pretty crazy. I'm not able to do that. If I push it, I can probably get to the threes. 
And uh, if I figure something out, maybe the ones or twos. Not the ones, probably. Probably just the twos. If I figure something out and have a really good lap. But uh, I think this is about the speed I have. And i uh, got enough practice to feel comfortable. Another thing. I'm running 14 to 1 instead of 16 to 1. Because it does get very loose. And uh, I'd like to be able to catch it if it starts getting out of shape. And these cars are so uh, wiggly anyway. I figure just move it to 14.1 and remember to be easy with my steering wheel inputs. What split are we in? And it should be okay. This should be top split. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that number one, I've seen him before, and I think he's got like 7,000 I rating or something. So. I imagine this is probably top split. Yeah, good enough. Turn this up a little bit, I can't hear too much. We're in top split. Yes, we are. For whoever asked. Oh, thank you, man. Mm -mm -mm. See if everyone gets Does ready up. Does anybody know what the SOF is? I'd like to know that. 3K, Andrew, 3K. 3k strength to field. Hey, that's not bad. Like 3 -0. Pretty good, especially for the time I run, which is, um... Um... 10pm. So it's actually not as late as I thought it was. Usually I end up racing later in the night, but... There are three additional too bad. Of tires for this race. Be smooth and have a good run. We don't have enough data for that. The air temp is... Three cheeks ready in case we have to do some fuel strategy, tire strategy, whatever. Fuel strategy is what the crew chief would be mainly for. Uh, like the Indy race I did, that was a lot of fun. Uh, that was a very, very interesting strategy-wise. That was probably like my favorite fuel mileage race I've ever done. Uh, if you haven't seen that one, it was an uh, Indy fix at uh, Las Vegas. We had a great long run to end the race, and it was all about fuel saving and stuff. And I love those kind of races, so that was cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. We got the goofy starts where you're sideways at the on the start finish line there. So uh make sure we get caught up because it's only one to green. We should be okay, but uh it's whenever I find myself starting near the rear or something on a, on a race like this, then you really gotta book it to <laughs> make sure you're in line. Looks like first gear start. And I uh, might have to be a little bit careful on the throttle. Yeah, it looks like it's once, it wants to pull to the right, it looks like, so I'll be a little careful with it. <clears throat> Hear my throat and not do that anymore. It's such a bad habit. It's when I start talking and I haven't talked, like, all day for a while. <laughs> start making my throat feel scratchy. That's uh, about ready to get going here. The pipe car is in. Might have been better to do second gear, but I don't think it affected us at all. Went it up a little closer to the limiter than I expected. Now uh, we're really gonna have to watch out here. The guy's spinning. So it's really loose off the start. These cold tires. Outside is clear. Car outside. Guys making daring tight Good moves way. already. Keep outside is clear. Outside. Just trying to be nice to it and not get run over. Getting raced very tightly. Hmm, these bumps on the bottom, man. Really upset the car, especially that one in uh, the middle of three and four. Really gets the car out of whack. Oh, that guy's getting weavy. Was on 
This guy's ready to go, I guess. Inside. Still there, inside. Oh, on that, I'm not in a hurry. Still there at the bottom. Clear. Okay, Colton, the next car is Bruno. Did better than I normally do. Uh, last time with B open in Indianapolis. Was it still wasn't great, I wrecked someone. <laughs> so maybe I didn't do so great, but I finished, I guess I should say, better than I normally do, because I normally I just have a lot of trouble with these B cars. I don't know what it is, but can't quite figure them out most of the time, so. Just try to keep steady here and Maybe not lose every spot off the start. I just, I, I'm not quite ready to go as fast as these guys are. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear outside if you want to. Really wasn't trying to pass that guy. It was just, that's the line I was choosing to run. Uh oh. That guy's getting a little out of shape. He's not getting in the wall. Is that water temperature message? I'm still not too concerned about it, though. Should be fine. Not sure what butt paste is. Can you imagine, like, you're an up-and-coming race car driver and, like, you're just so desperate for sponsors and the only guy that comes to you is butt paste the only company? I want you to run the butt paste car. And you really don't have a choice because you want to you race so bad. But then you get you become known as the butt paste car guy. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you could own it. Make it cool. Yeah, I'm the butt paste guy. Winning every race. We kick butt here at butt paste. Oh, God, these bumps on the bottom. I can't even barely run it. I might have to just run a lane higher in turns three and four just to not hit those bumps. That's probably the way to do it. Kind of trying to ride anyway right now. Uh, survive it. It seems like lots of guys are being patient at least. Yeah, I think I just have to run that lane higher so I don't hit those the worst of those bumps down there. It's like the uh, those crazy bumps in one and two at Iowa. That just totally destroy any chance to run the high side in turns one and two. It's not possible. Well, looks like we're gonna have to run close side here though. I think we actually got under them that time. I'm gonna make this pass, get it clear, so we don't have to fight them anymore. All right. Don't have the best track position right now, but it's not too concerning. Got a long race to go. Hmm. I was getting tighter already. Might have just taken a bad angle there too. Probably both is what the answer is. No cautions yet. That's pretty cool. Presumably, most people have good experience at Charlotte on iRacing, considering it's a free track and one of the couple of tracks that you start with in the street stocks. It's usually the first uh, one and a half, ooh, 
one and a half mile track that guys see. That guy was making me nervous a little bit. A little swervy, but well, so was I. So uh, this thing does swervy. That's what it does. Well, you face your butt, I'll stay out here. But uh, maybe the quality of racing is a little bit better when guys have been to a track more. Thank you. Very single file. That makes me think that there's uh, some smart racing going on. It's good. He's a little high up on the track, but he's kind of going to get a run from it. That might be a way to pass. Look at that run he got. There might be something to that. He's turning down in front of us. I had to lift off hard there. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. It's barely got it under those bumps, I think. Stay low. It's a pretty narrow track for a 1.5, to be honest. Still there. Outside is clear. You can make it tricky, too. At least compared to some other tracks of this size. Outside. Into the guy's outside there, but he's gonna have a runoff, I bet. Unless he had to lift off, not to hit the wall. Low. There is a car on the high side. Clear. Alright, another pass. Hopefully we're not tearing the tires off to do it. Sorry about that, Cole. I messed my corner entry all up. That'll put us in 13th. You're good. Keep on moving. I think I kind of wanted a uh, top 10 this race, but if I don't get that, not a big deal. Top 10 is what I would hope for, but in a car I'm not usually too great at. At a track I'm not too great at usually. Uh, I'm not going to be too hard on myself. No idea how our tires are looking compared to other guys, but we are pulling away from the people behind at the moment, so that's worth something. We'll get right down on this blue line, that's probably good for us. The car really does go from uh, loose, very loose off the start, to not so loose as the run goes on. So that's good, I guess. You want the uh, setup to be loose off the start, so that way the the tightness later in the run isn't so bad. Just occurred to me that I'm gonna want I'm gonna go ahead and put my brake bias back further. It was already back to like 52, but uh, I think I'm really gonna want as much as possible. Got to get under the bumps. Uh, it's not turning any either way though. I didn't even hit the bumps and it wasn't turning. So. Car is getting tight. Get a look though. This guy gets loose. Outside. Stay low. Do the car on the high side. Move to there. Hold your line. Not going to concede the position even though he made a mistake, though. Why would you? Take it by force, I guess. Use some more tire. Probably a bad idea. But that's what happened. That's what we did.
Oh, we're moving forward. That's a good thing. Must be doing something right if, uh... At least we're not moving backward. I think we're going to try to go about halfway. Tires are so incredibly important. I mean, look at the uh, all-time best lap, lap right now. We're two seconds off of the uh, fresh tire amounts, which uh, let's shift this to session last lap now. Uh, yeah, so I think we're really going to want the nice tires. So I might go ahead and risk getting the yellow flag. Yeah, might as well go for it, make it exciting. I'd like to have more track position than I do now. I'd like to finish a little bit better than where I am now, so... I mean, maybe we'll see how we're looking by the time it actually comes up to uh, pits, but... I want to try to, you know, short pit some guys track like this, I think you could really make some gains doing that. Looks like we're catching up to the 22 here. Who, uh, looks like their tires are wearing a lot, and they're trying to drive through it. The way they uh, exited that corner makes me think that, because it looks like they had a lot of wheel in it. They're forcing the car to do what they want even though it's not willing to give it anymore. Caution, oh, a caution! Okay. That's gonna bring us down pit road. No green flag pit stops here, then. 1.2 gallons. That's a lot to save. What we're going to do is, we're going to come in, get the tires. Mm. Let's see. Seven, Checking them on the back straight away. Some math. 8.3. Sorry, what was that? 8.3. Checking up three. It's a lot to save. Hmm. to think about this one. First things first, though, we do have to come in immediately here. The leader, Jones, is pitting. Pit lane speed limit is 45 miles per hour. We'll need to stop again to get to the end. Box in a five, four, three, two, one. Box now. Ooh, almost overshot it. Not quite. Your engine temperatures are now back to normal. Engine temperatures don't seem to be a problem. Crew chief's just uh, upset about it. <laughs> okay, go. That guy's out in front of us. Single file. Butt paste man. Two point seven. What we're gonna do is take these off. Somebody must have sped on pit road. Yeah. Take those off. You know what? Two point eight gallons. This is tough. Two point eight gallons. Are open. What are their guys doing? This is what we're doing. Okay. Look out for the pit speed limit. Adding more fuel to it. We think we'll need to stop again. We're gonna save and try to make it to the end. Box in five, four, three, two, one. Box now. Those are off, yes. Move it, move it. Two 
2.3 gallons. One left to green. Point three up gallons. Catch the seven car. We're gonna save fuel. Maybe we get a caution, it doesn't matter, but... I think we can save that much. 2.4 gallons. Let's go. Let the 7. Carbide, you had the position when the yellow flag came out. So we'll just hang out back here for a while. Two point four gallons. We have to save. Get ready, going green. The pace car is in. Sorry about that. The first back. Green, 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 green. Okay. Weird bunched up start. Mm, guys swerving around. Holy cow, man. Clear outside. Guys having trouble keeping it straight. Inside. Keep high. Clear inside. Let these guys go. Clear. A little bit of that. 2.3 gallons. 2.3 gallons. And uh, that's 2.3 gallons with a little bit extra that I programmed into the uh, crew chief. <laughs> Make sure I don't spin it though still. I think they're gonna crash though, they look a little bit too wild. Two gallons. Down to two gallons. Just saying. Estimated laps about 59. Yeah, it's gonna be close. I think we can do it though. Your lap time was 31.6. It'll look pretty good if we're the only ones that can make it on fuel. Okay, Colton, your water temperature's creeping up. Two gallons. Two gallons still, but we got a lot of time to save that two gallons. And I would rather uh, be slow now and have the extra bit later. To burn off if we can. The gap ahead is now 0.8. 2.2 gallons. Hmm. We'll see. Maybe I'm being a big dummy, but I wanted to try. Hey Jason, I'm just riding right now. Let me know if you're trying to get around me. I'm just riding through, buddy. Might be boring for a little bit. So we're not going to be racing anyone, but I don't know if anyone else is going to make it unless they try as hard as we are here. Using the clutch. So with that, uh, that's what it 
sound is whenever the needle goes down and stuff. Helps it roll more. Uses hopefully saves fuel. Not to worry as much about uh, spinning out either if I'm not really even <laughs> going all that fast. So that's a bonus. A lot harder to save fuel in a stock car than an Indy car. Indy car, you like just change the fuel map. <laughs> Here, you gotta actually really change up the way you drive. Probably good on the tires too, though. I mean, it, it has to be You're going so soft. What's the estimated laps on here saying? About 55? 55 would be enough. But like I said, I want to do the saving now. Make sure I can make it. And then uh, be able to hit the gas pedal at the end and make some passes maybe. Whether it's... Uh, on the track from guys who suddenly have to go into panic fuel save mode or people that uh, realize they can't make it. But it's all gonna hinge on uh, whether these guys crash or not too. I'm in the right pedal, not just smashing the brake pedal <laughs> heading into the corner when I'm trying to hit my clutch. Point seven. I'm liking what I'm hearing. We're even actually catching these guys right here because our tires are so much better at this point. I had to guess. So even if uh, we just realize, like, hang on, I'm not going to make it even with all this fuel saving, um, we might still be able to charge forward with good tires. At least a little bit. So that's something uh, good, too. It's a little bit less risky. Good bumps there. Five gallons. Get a little of draft even. Getting high. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that story before. I don't believe you. I save. Oh, don't be wrecking up there. I better check my pants. Yeah, I'd go do that, man. Coming up on halfway, yes. Is anyone gonna make it easy on us because they see that we're easily catching up? That's half distance. The water temp is getting high. <laughs> no, of course not. Lane. 
the lane. Good oh, lord. Lord. The lane that's not 1.5, I guess I should be specific. Clear outside. Four gallons. It's getting a little too tight to go in about that hard, so I'm gonna take it a little softer into turns uh, into turn three going forward. Low, the so bumps. Really? You're gonna block me? Yeah, you're. Outside. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Still there, hold your line. Clear up, top. Have to tap the brake before I get into 34, I think. Car outside. E21. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Outside, clear. I don't like that uh, when I get off the clutch, it kind of pulls the car to the left. <laughs> That's a way to get rotation I haven't really thought of. Oh, did you just blow up? Yeah, he blew up. I don't know what happened. It was blinking for a while. Oh, I don't stop. The whole don't stop at the track. Please get off the track. Don't cause a caution. Oh my god. Yeah, you gotta leave it in gear for the water tank. Clutching it doesn't really help water tap. It only helps oil. I think he's good. I think he's off the track. Oh, I would hate for all this effort to go to waste. It could, it's easily going to happen, probably. But I would really hate for it, too. 1.1 gallons. 42 laps. Making it's about uh, lap 93. Yeah, it definitely does, because I know he's pretty good in the long run. The tires are feeling great, too. So, kind of just trying to figure out how to roll through three and four while uh, <laughs> while saving like that. Everyone's nice and spread out. You've just done a 32.3. Maybe I got on it a little soon there. That's pretty good. Don't crash, please. I need full cooperation from the field here to make this work. Oh, they're three wide up there. Outside. Clear outside. Oh, damn. It's gonna fight it. Just block, I guess. Time was 
I wasn't expecting that. I'm wondering what y'all was trying to do right there. Still <laughs> there. No, I'll talk to the James. Go. Sorry about that, Mike. Oh, they're wrecking. Oh my god, I see smoke. Don't do it! We only need 0 0.9 gallons now. Tried to get his bunny around. Yeah, he puts up into you. Zero point seven gallons. Hmm. I might need to just uh, drive through some of these cars without doing the fuel thing, so hopefully we've given ourselves some room to do so. Be interesting to see how the uh, estimate changes based on uh, pushing all of a sudden. Hmm. Did not expect to get on the inside of him, so I had to turn a little bit. Okay, Colton, the next car is Barrett. Lori, when you get to me, I'll give you the line, though, man. Outside. These hell guys are getting real tight. So your point out is sounding pretty good. Outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear outside. All right, it's another one. Zero point seven. I'm just gonna try and I'm just gonna do it in one and two now for a while. See what the uh, number does. Love the way the brake bias is making a turn into entry like that. I really like how that feels, and I've gotten pretty uh, comfortable with getting below the, where that bump is in turns three and four. So that's feeling pretty good. That last lap was at 32.3. Kind of overdrove it there. Zero point seven gallons. Point seven still. And this is cool. We might have another fun uh, fuel mileage race right after we had a good one at Indy, or not Indy, but uh, in Indy, Indy car. This guy's getting sideways though. Outside. Still there. Still there. Stay low. There's a car on the high side. Grip on the exit corner. Clear outside. Pretty fun moving through the, through the field like this, though. A loose on exit now. It's a good thing. It's kind of stuck at 0 0.7 right now. Wow, we're almost getting run over. Holy cow. That guy really overdriving the center of the corner. Clear outside if you want it.
away from some guys, get some room to breathe. Just being real patient on throttle. I think we're just gonna get a good finish anyway, even if everyone can make it on fuel. It's because, uh, saved the tires so much. Pretty good position. Hey, it's it's butt paste. Dude, I'm your biggest fan. Oh boy. See you guys struggling. You can see me struggling apparently. And loose off the exit of the corner. Don't do that. I'm stuck here. Outside. Still there. Clear outside if you want it. Outside. Still there. Ah. Keep low. Got a roadblock ahead. Still there. Hold your line. Clear up top. Team's pushing up, or is that the 50? And I don't know. They got a whole messed up Go scheme. Low. Just gotta be patient. Go low. The only thing worse than a caution coming out and ruining my uh, strategy is me bringing out a caution and ruining my own strategy. This is kind of driving me crazy, though. Go low. Get those bumps. Oh, let's go. Tired of getting stuck here. Outside, clear. Car outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Stay low. Here we go. Keep low. Almost got. No! Single file. Why? 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 I was going to make it on fuel, too. We're on kind of optimistic. That was dumb, man. You already pressed higher and just lost it. Next is messed up a really good race we were about to have. Out. Oh, yeah. yeah. Pretty sure I was good there. I was going to make it on fuel, too. Wow, well, close, but I think I was going to be able to make it. Man, that sucks. What happened anyway? Single car? Or... Yeah, who am I fighting? Well, somebody blocked somebody. And... Yeah, the 21 car, you had fresh tires. Keep right there. Like, you didn't have to give me a, give me a round, you just blocked me. Like, I, was, I wouldn't even have gas. There wasn't no blocking. If you had fresh tires, you didn't have to come up and just slam it. I, better. I can hold the button in too. Go 21, go around me. No shit. The leader is pitting now. Well, you're fucking coasting, man. Watch your speed. Okay, Colter, we'll fuel you to the end of the race. Box in. Five. Four. Three. Two. Box now. I almost overdrove it again. Sorry, that was a lot of focus. I was trying to think about what I want to be doing. I just gave myself a tiny bit of fuel. Make sure I can make it to the end. Move it, move it.
Well, we got some track position. We have one tire remaining. They want you just have to go now. Man. That sucks. So it feels no longer a thing. Might have to take tires again if it's a green white checkered or something, but hopefully we just go green now. Mike, by the way, it's good to see you again, brother. Thanks, Max. Good to see you too, bro. Huh. Just take a little break there? Yeah, I think it's a good That more important crap to worry about. I hear you, bud. So we're going to do second gear start now, because uh, first gear didn't quite feel it. Maybe to get a bit of a jump I if I were the leader, but... Of 2021 for me. I had to pretty yeah. much just put on the back burner. So what place are we in now? Matt, have you pitted already there? Did you pit under green? Yes, I have. 10 four. How old are your tires? Old enough you guys will have to go around me. Oh, no. So you say we're going to have a big rip? Not if you guys go around me. <sighs> we got a guy up front on old tires. Listen, I, I understand I have old tires. I, I'm not going to get in anybody's way. You guys want to go high, you want to go low. Let me know. I'm just trying to pick up a couple extra spots. That's all. You're not going to. I mean, Matt, we're all it's the end of the race here, but we're all on fresh tires. There's just, we can't just go around you that easy. You, uh, just do you do what you do, bud. Forty-six laps. This like literally never works. I I just don't understand. This never ever 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 works. Everyone's wrecked and everyone's mad every time. Yes. It's a open. There's way too many laps left. Yeah, but it never works. Never. Just don't try first gear. <laughs> it's a disaster for someone. Oh, he has every right to do it. Never said he couldn't do it. I was just asking him if uh, he could think twice about it. One left Matt, you are a gentleman on the call. I promise your finishing line. position will be better with that. Oh, he went in. Well, I guess I gotta go to the top now. Yo, I need to get down. Let me get down. That was classy of him to reconsider, even though that puts him in a bad spot. It wasn't gonna work. He was gonna get run over. There was gonna be crash. Yeah, All these guys are right. Even you. if he doesn't crash, like he's just helping himself by hitting there. And it turns out very badly, 95% of the time. I mean, you saw we were like two seconds off the pace on those old tires. One, two, three, four car numbers. Plus, you like freaking top split, top roll here, right? Ninety-nine percent of the time. All right. Well, at least we don't have to worry about that anymore. Maybe that idea works. It's still kind of like a unnecessary risk to take but if like we we're in a green white checker and you stayed out or something and you were just hoping for an immediate caution then get maybe going green. it's a way to get a cheap win but not with this many laps to go there's nothing to gain from staying up there green flag, green flag. All right, average ish start <laughs> guys gonna spin here because they're on cold tires and I forgot how treacherous it is. Alright, we'll take the outside, that's cool. Above that seam. Loose in front of us. Go, 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 go. 
The wreckage. Oh my god. Usually when you see cars sideways, you don't just gas it. Really, you couldn't shoot you over the rest up there and get on the damn brake. What did I do? Sorry guys, that was all on me. Catch the 14 car. Oh, you're good, Brandon. I thought you were sarcastic at first. I was like, I didn't touch you. But, yeah, no problem. I saw you getting sideways. I didn't want to just run you over. <laughs> yeah, I thought he was like, thank you, Six. I'm like, what? I didn't touch you. Space cars in three. <laughs> Pit road's open. Pits are open. Yeah, he was getting sideways. And, uh, I had to lift off, and I just went around him. I don't know exactly what happened back there. I, I assume he saved it. Yeah, he's back there, so he must have saved it. That's good. And then they wrecked in front of us, in front of all that, in an unrelated incident, so. I guess there were people <laughs> having trouble on the cold tires. What paste? Having a good run? Lucky dog. I don't remember if we had a lucky dog last time, did we? I might have been thinking about other things. 12's on our outside for some reason. Okay. So obviously we're plenty good on fuel now. After these cautions. Tires we shouldn't have used very much. 10th place. So we'll be on the outside. I think I would prefer to be on the outside on the starts. I think. So I'm okay with that. I don't think it matters too much. I feel like you can navigate it for the most part. Either way. Might be less place to hide on the outside, but I feel like I can move forward a little bit better if I am. Assuming uh, the guy in front gets a decent start. So Pros and cons to both lanes, I think. He's in real slow. I hope we survived this thing. We're in the top ten now. Would have loved to see our uh, fuel strategy pay off, but that went out the window. So now uh, at least we got some track position from the tires that we saved in that in that time, and uh, we can try to move forward on speed now, which is not the position I really wanted to be in because I don't think I have very good short run speed, as I mentioned before. But hopefully, it's enough that. Uh, I'll be able to gain another spot or two, or even just stay here. That'd be cool, too. Get that top ten that I was hoping to achieve. That's, uh... 11 to go now. We'll be coming to 10 to go. And then we'll go green with 9 to go. So it'll be a bit of a dash. We might uh, not have seen the last of the cautions. Unfortunately. But we'll be able to avoid them. We got most... Most of the people behind us now, I think, although there's a lot of people wrecked out. Mm -mm -mm. But, uh, sun's setting here in Charlotte. We're going to be finishing uh, it's about, about when it gets dark, I think. I wonder if it is it gonna tell me what time it is. End game it is 7.34. On a Friday, apparently. We're under caution, pits are closed. We'll be coming up on to the outside. Tires are still gonna be cold because we didn't run very long, and then we had the cool down. Probably even colder than before, honestly. If they weren't already uh, as cold as they could be. If the back of that car didn't say butt paste, it would kind of remind me of an old, like, Terry Labonte Kellogg's car with the red and yellow. I've been talking a lot about butt paste this race. <laughs> I'm sorry. I found myself behind him a number of times. Let's talk about someone else's car. What you got over there? I'm paying attention. I think it's just an iRacing car. Thrustmaster up there, Monster Energy. Yeah, he's just got an iRacing car. 
My uh, trading paints has been kind of weird lately, though. Sometimes it's not loading people's paints, and, or even loading mine sometimes, so it's been kind of finicky. I just have my Blockbuster car at the moment right now. I uh, kind of tried to find a new one. A new Xfinity paint, but uh, didn't really find one. I liked too much uh, when I looked. And I like to not only find a scheme I like, but one that also doesn't have too many people racing it. Because, uh, I don't know, I prefer not to like find someone else on the track that has a duplicate. And uh, obviously the best way to get around that would be to uh, make my own paint. But I uh, haven't delved into that yet. I don't think I'd be very good at it. I might try it at some point, but I'm not sure it'll work very well. <laughs> but, uh, for now. Blockbuster's good, I guess. They need the advertising. Good start compared to the 14. I'm a fan of that. Alright, so we actually got to the line in ninth. It's cool. Below that bump. Got a place. Stuff. I've been feeling more comfortable with the car as the race has gone on, getting some more seat time. It's feeling better. I like it. Just gonna try to hit my marks. He's cutting me off. It's gonna look the outside. Good. <laughs> oh, we got a guy hitting the apron. Didn't quite get under the bump that time, but I think I drove through it pretty well. Oh, whoa, we got some weird movement up there. Uh, below the 19. Outside. Still there. Oh, these bumps! Oh, that's awful. Hit that just the wrong way. Oh, by the way, I, I did it silently because people were talking. But I did uh, bump up the tape since it's a shorter run here, and I think it's probably fine. Minimal change, but hey, if we have photo finish, maybe that would be uh, that's what gave us the edge. <laughs> I guess we'll try uh, the high line. At least to get a run. This guy's falling off a bit. Alright, inside should work in this corner. Man, he fought it off. Yeah, I got all kind of things. Just can't get by him. Might have gotten the nose on him if he hadn't cut us off that one time, but... I feel like I'm plenty fast. I just, I gotta be better. I gotta make the pass. High line will give us enough of a run. Nah, didn't really get much of a run at all. Using the tires at this point. Ugh. Still just getting that run. So stuck. 
It's not good enough to make a pass, apparently. Come on. We gotta get down the sand. Oh my god, I was to get this run. Jeez, man. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Keep low. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get around on the outside. Yes, alright. At least we got that spot. <laughs> Good race, you know. Woo! Chicken flag, chicken flag. Thanks, guys. Dang it, James, oh I was going to have a shot to get back by you there, buddy. Get the fifth place run. Woo! Good race and good win. I really love that long green flag run. Dude, that was fun at the end. I didn't mean to slide up in front of you like an eight, a day to go. That was my bad. You were faster than me, and I didn't want to rally you too hard for an eighth or ninth. Oh, you're good. I know you were probably trying to stick it to the bottom. It probably got tight on you. I understand. It was good racing at the end. That was fun. It was fun. It was a good race. Lots of green flag racing. And uh, we uh, didn't get to do our fuel strategy, but still ended up with a nice finish. And it didn't end, or end under nasty green-white checkered or anything stupid. So, <laughs> all right, Zero X. Lots of good stuff. But I hope that wasn't a weird thing to say. Like, I know you're trying to stay, keep it on the bottom. My social anxiety makes me question everything I say all the time, always. <laughs> I'm better with it than I used to be, but uh, still annoys me. Or is a bother to me. Anyway, incidents. Let's see what happened. It's just a little bit of baby wall tap on lap 11. That's a long way to skip already, all the way to lap 11. And that's not even, neither of these have really been anything at all. What's going on here? What that was. Looking to the wall, maybe looking to the left. I just realized the guy that we, uh... <laughs> the guy that we raced hard with at the end was butt paste guy. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's really funny. I guess I should say we had a good race with Jeff. I shouldn't call him butt paste guy. That's probably rude. <laughs> but uh, anyway, that was our first actual rack, it looks like. Guy gets loose in the 25. Uh, didn't check up for him enough on time. Didn't notice something. But. Uh, he held the brakes like he should. Unfortunately, that'll bring the caution out. Lap 26. Um, this is whenever the, I believe, my fuel run started. When I was going to try to make the fuel run. What? What was that? What? Huh? Oh. The guy is blinking out, and he just TKOs this guy. What on earth? <laughs> that was weird. So we're under caution, too, by the way. Does he come back? No. Does... So yeah, he disconnected. So I think what happened is, my guess is that he was having internet connection issues. And maybe everyone else on the track disappeared for him, potentially. And so he's just driving. He probably doesn't even see this guy. And the server kicks him out. But he, he's still there enough 
quote unquote, like there enough to make contact with the 18 who just gets taken out by a ghost. <laughs> That's an interesting one. Because after that, the guy's gone. That was weird. Huh. That's my best guess as to what happened, though. Ooh. 16 puts the apron a little bit, it looked like. Oh, yeah, this guy blew his engine. Right there. That's where he blew his engine. So, I don't know what tape he was running or. You know what gears he was running, but maybe it's good that we had that uh, tape a little lower. Still mostly nothing out here, though. We're going to see what brought out the caution that ruined the fuel race. It's me. Oh, he just taps the wall a bit. Let me guess, I tried to make a pass on the bottom or something, or... No, I'm, I'm, this is the point where my tires are really good, so I should probably be okay. Probably get them on exit or something. Yeah, I'm working on them. This was in the middle of our really long, uh, fuel save. Oh no! Whoa, that could have been a caution right there. The 23 just can't stick it, his tires are too bad. So he drifts up, way up, like almost the entire track length up. These guys managed not to wreck. And that's how all these guys ended up all the way back. And I start approaching them, and then we had that big wad of cars. 23 really must have shot their tires. The longer we get into this run, the more you're going to see guys hitting the wall, probably. When they can't turn. Here we are making our way past. Tires are pretty good at this point. Is this the caution? Yep, looks like it's gonna be. Or, yep. Man, they almost saved it from being a caution, too. So. 16's looking low. 21's, tr tr like, cranking the wheel, I assume, to cover the bottom lane so he can't get past. And by doing so, it gets kind of sideways and really is slowing himself down, and so the 16 just runs into him. And for a second... It looked like they were going to save it, and then no caution was going to come out. But then, 21. I don't think he did that on purpose. I think that was probably the car still just being upset. As you see, he's here. Yeah. I don't think that was on purpose. This car's still unsettled. Unfortunately, that's what uh, ended the fuel run. Just waiting for green. Some wall. Some wall. You guys are going hard now, so they're going to try to use all the track and more. Ooh! Forgot about this one. I'm glad we didn't cut up, get caught up in this. So this is whenever the uh, guy in front of us was getting all out of shape. Went around him, didn't run him over, but it didn't matter because they had a crash in front of us. What started that? Oh, just uh. Guy got loose and then overcorrected. Yeah, into the wall and then a <laughs> big net code sends this guy off, but uh, he was going to hit him pretty hard either way, I think. 14 chooses the exact wrong place of the track to go. Oh, it's because they were also spinning. Wow, lots of people forgetting what cold tires feel like, I think. 
There's like three separate spins there, essentially. So he's down. Oh my god. Did he avoid major damage? I think. Wow, that was close. I gotta see how close that was. I'm sorry if this is not interesting to you, but. Wow. <laughs> That's good stuff. That's probably gonna be the thumbnail with me in the background there and then those guys like that. <laughs> That's funny. But uh, thankfully everyone's down low. I'm able to just drive right on past it. 25 was not checking up for it at all. He might not have seen it or... He's looking at this guy probably, not looking at whatever's happening there. Probably had time to check up though, probably should have. Probably should have also held his brakes. Hold his brakes here then. He stays down low, although those guys were already running into each other as well. Lots of people caught up in that. How did these guys become a part of it? Eight's not... What are you doing, Eight? Hit the brakes, man. <laughs> Look at this. You see him wrecking. You know there's going to be caution, so hit the brakes. He doesn't, and then this is what happens. Alright. Caution things happening. Oh man, that same car is getting sideways. I'm in trouble. Must be one of those really loose setups. And cold tires. Mine's a little loose, but... Could have been looser. And then the 8 blows his engine because he didn't slow down for that caution before. So he really paid the price for, for that. Now 14 has the opposite problem. Before it was turning too much, then it didn't turn enough. And then your winner, the number one, who I'm pretty sure is the guy that has like 7,000 I rating that I was talking about before. But uh, we came in with a eighth place. Not too shabby. I'm happy with that. My goal was a top 10. Figured I'd probably be able to pull that off um, if I played my cards right. And uh, even got a couple more into the uh, eighth spot and moved forward from where we started. So pretty happy with that run, especially if it's going to be a clean one with the zero X. And uh, it was a fun race. Regardless of all that nonsense, <laughs> all the statistics that don't actually matter, the fun part, the good part is the fun part. And uh, had plenty of that. It was a good race. I'd love to get better with these cars and race them some more because they can put on some, put on some great racing. And uh, I really started feeling better near the end of this one, being able to hit the lines a little bit better and be a little more pre precise. So I hope you enjoyed as well, as much as I did. And uh, I will see you in the next race. I appreciate it. Have a good one.